Hey guys, Arcus here, and today we're going to be taking Valenti into PvP. Um, before we get started, make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet, and turn on the notification bell until you're notified when I upload. Now, I know I said I was going to, um, you know, <laughs> I was going to uh, upload a how to do things video when it comes to how to install JP slash Korean Grand Cross as of yesterday, but things happened and um well all my i was all editing i was 40 minutes in the editing you know, i was making sure everything looked nice it was good some good music everything was in order because i had like five to six different videos i was going back and forth from my computer to my phone consistently well what happened was everything got corrupted so instead of going back to recording another video like that I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna record Valenti because I need I need to record something, right? And Valenti is here, so I'm gonna go ahead and record Valenti. Um, he has red derriere. Okay, so we're just gonna full on attack him like this then. Might as well, you know. Valenti's strong as everything. <laughs> oh, dang on. Wait, hold on, Ludo. Let's go, Ludo. Ludo killed. This is why you should have a Tauntaun or you should have Red Molasco on the team, by the way. <laughs> uh, if you didn't know, Valenti's first card, it's a single target. It blocks all skill effects, including those of ultimate moves for one turn. And then her ultimate increases damage dealt by 50% and decreases, decreases damage taken by the same amount for three turns. And then, uh, you're going to go away, I'm trying to show it. And it's AoE that does 350% uh, at level one, because I'll have level one. Our second card is the AoE um, Sever card that I, uh, what's his name? Sariel has. And I have Sariel's Grace in her, right? We're going to level everyone up, right? I'm not going to use her ultimate. Not yet. Don't want to yet. Because I just want to make sure that, uh, I just want to uh, show off exactly how strong a uh, level 2 will be. No, I just didn't use Roma because I was talking about the thing about it. <laughs> That's the legitimate reason. Let's just do this, this, and this. Let's just end this match. This is over. Valenti's very good unit, right? By the way, uh, she's really good. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's move on, and to the next match. And if you didn't know her passive, her passive increases her pierce rate and crit damage by half the amount of her crit resistance. Right? It's kind of like Lilia's, except it only affects her. Instead of giving everyone else it. Um. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do here. Is move over. Rank up Valenti. And. Hmm. We'll move. We'll move Valenti again right. Oh so he's using. So he's using Zeldris. Okay. Well you see here my guy. I'm going to completely. um Destroy you turn one. <laughs> That's just how it's going to be. Oh, you also have Red Esterosa, don't you? Ah, uh, so you're trying to take advantage of Red Esterosa's, um, passive. Uh, not passive, uh, his attack. Because, uh, if I hit you, it gives me debuffs. Interesting. But, you know, one thing to note is that, like, I'm just going to completely, um, cook both of your units out. I'm just going to stop, you know, your crits your amplifies, your ruptures, and that special effect that Esterosa does. So now, I mean, he could move cards over, but he has to move cards over to get rid of a Zelda. So it just... Amplify doesn't matter, my guy. Valenti stops you from getting that Amplify off, my guy. <laughs> my guy. <laughs> Uh, that's cool and everything. I'm going to kill you now. I'm just gonna just I, like this is going to hurt a lot. Um. Yeah, no, it's 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 over, my guy. It's over. Yep, GG. I'll give you the DN bow. You, uh, I won. Maybe if you didn't, maybe you moved cards over and got rid of it and did the amplify, you would have full on killed my Ludo, but she didn't have the Amplify there, so yeah. Okay, 
Um, this is over. Yeah, no, this this is completely over. Let's go on to the next match. Okay, we're in our- ooh, finally, the one Eskimer. Oh yeah, April Fool's thing is still going on. Um, well, you see, um, hold on, I gotta do this, um, I gotta do this, and then I'm at completely and 120% tuck that go through, because his rank ups don't matter. I want to see if he knows what Valenti does him. Does he, is he still going to do the uh, rank up? Or is he still going to rank up? Oh? He's attacking my Gother. He didn't crit at all. My guy? Um. My guy. He, um. I can still get ult right now. By the way. Um. You know what? I'm just going to cuck. Uh. <laughs> you know, let's, let's, let's stop him. Let's do a sever. And then we'll, um. We'll stop ult gauge, right? We'll stop uh, Escanor, right? So he doesn't actually crit and everything. And his influx doesn't work. Go ahead and do an Ailey, and then Gother's attack card should kill his Gother. Yeah, okay, cool. It killed his Gother, which is what I wanted. I want that Gother dead. And the revive is gone. So now, uh... You're doing a dull rank up on Liz? Shield? Oh no, you're gonna, are you going to do stun or are you going to shield? Just two you stunning. <clears throat> that doesn't matter, my guy. Actually, hold on. No, 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 no. Two Aoes should kill that Eskimo, right? And then I'll have a, I'll have the single target just in case anyone lives. Yeah, no. <laughs> His entire team is dead. Okay. Yo, let's go. Um, Villity's second card, its effect is honestly. If I were to think ranking skill effects in the game, I would say Valenti is probably honestly the best. Honestly, the best skill effect. If I'm just being honest here. Yeah, that that's exactly where I put it. Well, uh, let's do one more match after this. So let's uh, let's move on ahead. After I give you the uh, DM bell. Hey yo, okay. So the one, we have Parmiel and we have Gother. Red Gother be specific, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to cut that Gother. We're going to... Hmm. We're going to do this, and then we're just going to do a single target on that Ascanor. Yeah. We want to stop the Gother from getting rank ups or taxes on me, right? Go ahead and stop their ults. If they try to rush ult, and yeah, attack that Ascanor. You know, the weakened influx, right? Because... He still has that influx. I didn't use it on him. I used it on Gother. I wonder. What is he going to do? Is he going to rank up with the Gother or anything? No, I think he knows what. Uh, yeah. No, wait. Hold on. What is he doing? Is he doing rank up for a single attack card? I hope it's not. A, I hope it's not attack cell. Okay. Oh. Um. Hold on. No. 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 Wait. We're going to rank up Valenti. We're going to do. You know, let's just do two Aoes. Let's just let's just throw in throw in two Aoes. Let's just see how much damage we can get Valenti to do, right? Oh yeah, by, by the way, the best gear for her is crit resistance. <laughs> to make her passive go off more. I mean, as you can see, she's already doing a lot of damage. Something on the back so that if he comes out, he's by himself. That's interesting. Especially since you usually kill like a lot of people once in this meta. Huh. But, uh, Valenti cucks you, my guy. <laughs> and I'm not gonna let you rush out either. Amplify? Nope. Rupture? Nope. Oh, never mind. The soul one's just dead. Or basically dead. Well, you can't do anything because your extra skill effects like Amplify and Rupture don't matter. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you're still gonna do a lot of damage because you're still a strong unit but like it just don't matter my guy and i'm pretty sure you're finished here because you don't got an ult and you ain't gonna kill everyone oh no you're just dead anyways that's it that's the video thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next video
拜拜。